It is a, a trafficked area. The WHC is here. So uh, we are looking for some alternate locations and they're suggesting a location in Columbus. Uh, we'd like not to put the BCAT back here. And a quick uh, look at the hatch area. We've uh, rigged a little uh, seat track stud and a Velcro arrangement to uh, keep this uh, PBA hatch more or less closed. Uh, tape wasn't working out so well for us, but again, the quarter turn fasteners have uh, not worked too well for us there, and those have been taken off. Okay, uh, continuing on, we're uh, in node two now. I want to show the uh, hatch here. Looking aft from node two. Again, uh, we do kind of look at our hatch surfaces uh, at least once a day during a fly-through, making sure that there's nothing on the fan inlets and uh, hatches are clear and no drag-throughs. We do that pretty much once in the uh, morning and uh, more detail once at night. Uh, the mesh bag you see here is our dirty laundry staging area. Uh, power strips down here on the starboard side and uh, the fan uh, inlet here, which we uh, find things in every once in a while. We do a lot of our PAO work here, so we have a video camera set up uh, with a, a small a computer desk we use for uh, holding any scripting. Uh, the overhead hatch area, and uh, we'll pay particular attention. We've reported this a couple of times too, but I think there's still been some questions. Uh, we have the emergency one book up here in the uh, port area. We also have one of the monovacometers from the Russian side. Uh, the one that's uh, typically used at the uh, central post for reporting differs from this one by about uh, one and one half millimeters, this one reading a little bit lower. And um, the uh, other question uh, I think was concerning stowage. And so in the uh, Node 2 uh, Deck 5 area, you can see we do have some stowage here. It's actually not very much. It's a fairly uh, deep pit. Uh, we were using it for uh, empty CTBs here, and uh, we've used most of those for um, 2JA prepack. Uh, you will see a couple of uh, bonus food containers that some of us keep uh, deployed here just to grab uh, snacks out of and things like that, uh, rather than running down to the Russian segment. These are also uh, marked in the database. We have uh, one KBO down here, and uh, those are in fairly short supply right now on station, so we're using that fairly exclusively for unusual things uh, such as medical trash. And uh, pivoting around, this is uh, the workstation on the port side. Port crew quarters, port side uh, workstation. Uh, this is something that uh, I use, uh, but also other crew members use just for uh, supplies and uh, grabbing uh, stickies and pens and things like that. Uh, power strips and charging below. And uh, my work SSC and the uh, starboard side workstation, uh, similar kind of used uh, by Koichi but also by everybody. There's some uh, temp stowed tools here that we use frequently. And looking overhead, <laughs> other things that uh, the uh, crew preference items as they're marked in the database uh, show us as deployed. Okay, uh, continuing along here, um, node 2, a deck 5 storage area. Let's turn on a little bit of supplemental light, which uh, the high def cameras like. Um, we do have uh, the one big uh, mid deck stowage bag here, and uh, again, uh, a few CWCs, uh, but there is obviously a lot of potential for stowage down here. Uh, we've reported that we're short of these bungees, and uh, we really are. We need these for stowing in some of the big uh, radial hatch areas, so I think we've got some of those coming up on 2JA. And another uh, area that might be a little bit uh, un underutilized is the uh, end cone area in the Node 2. Um, we uh, could stow a few more things here. Obviously, during a shuttle mission, uh, it would be a little bit difficult. It is a thoroughfare. Uh, but uh, it is a, an area that uh, we could use and we'd sometimes use for staging now. I will point out the uh, two uh, food containers. These are Russian food containers and are listed as discarded. Uh, but we have uh, put the backup IFM tools, the IFM spare tools, into these two containers and uh, organized them somewhat. And we actually do use these uh, fairly frequently, uh, either because we have tasks simultaneously or uh, because we just uh, can't necessarily find something out of the regular IFM kit. We're trying to be uh, fairly ginchy about putting things back uh, when we're done with them, uh, but there's just a lot of people up here using tools, which is what you expect with a six-person crew. And the uh, Node 2 forward hatch area, the flag area, we use this as a backdrop for uh, PAO events again. Our venerable ship's bell, 
and uh, the uh, big CTB floating here is our Ziploc pantry, which we're uh, into uh, fairly frequently. Now a quick look at the overhead. Again, uh, quite a bit of potential stowage area, and I know that uh, for uh, 17A uh, that will be uh, fairly heavily utilized. We have a little bit of a bungee net up there. This is where we typically dry our clothes, and uh, some of our water reclamation is done up here too. The uh, ventilation here is quite good, so we try to make use of that the best we can. But that should give you a pretty good idea of the uh, stowage potential up there. And moving quickly into the gem, 